celebrated fictional mega organ of Theme Lord Cornelius! Our tale begins and ends with the diary of Brother O. Hartebeast, a man of means and full of a nervous energy. February 13th, 1881, London. Awoke with night shivers. While basing in the library, accidentally bumped into Grandpapa's old sailing trunk and heard a click. To my astonishment, I found a yellowing scroll in a little compartment that had popped open. Spent the rest of night poring over contents. February 15th, 1881, London. Cannot sleep. The tales contained within these crackling yellow sheets are beyond my wildest dreams. Yet, they must be true. February 16th, 1881, London. Barely a snatch of sleep because it's a no matter. The pages wrapped around the scroll tell of a fantastical musical instrument of unimaginable size and power built into the fabled colossal airship of Steve Lord Cornelius, the mega organ, could flatten forests as it flew over them, crack mountains as it flew through them, and blow away storms as if they were a mere annoyance. I must find it and bring this wonder back to the world! May 31st, 1882, Nepal. It is not here. After a lengthy discussion with my Sherpas, uh, we have decided that I may have been reading this map upside down. October the 4th, or maybe 7th. 1884, location unknown. After drifting for many days since the storm sunk my vessel, I awoke with a thump as my makeshift raft collided with a rocky mound in what I can only believe must be the Atlantic Ocean. I staggered atop this unexpected spire and to my astonishment found a trap door actually built into the face of the stone. Pulling with all my might, I forced open the portal and was inside in seconds. Blackness enveloped me. Date unknown, location unknown. Of all the impossible twists my journey has taken, this was the most extreme. I have found it. The trap door opened onto a tunnel heading into inky blackness. I followed for what seems like hours until light filtered through the never-ending darkness and I saw a short flight of steps leading upwards just ahead of me. I ascended and entered the cavern from which I write these words. I sit here looking at the belief-defying enormity of the airship of Steam Lord Cornelius. I'm going to board it now. Date unknown, location unknown. I found a huge object in the stern of the vessel. It was intimidatingly large and covered in burlap, which I proceeded to remove. Goodness, great Lord above, underneath was the most incredible instrument I have ever bore witness to. I write to you, bathed in sweat, trembling and shaken, for I have just played the mega organ of Steam Lord Cornelius. It is an experience that defies capturing up our parchment with mere words. Every note was an explosion of sound. The very earth trembled and the organ breathed in smoke, steam and sparks. An indescribably extreme and all-encompassing experience, dear reader! The 
thankfully, there is a device here that allows the storage and replay of sound itself. I intend to play each and every note into this device and then somehow make my way back to London, uh, hopefully in this very vehicle. Oh, joy. Oh, rapture. I shall sleep soundly tonight. This was the last entry in what was left of the diary we found in the unmarked steamer trunk that was delivered last week to me. Edward Cannon, grandson of Brothero Hartbeast. Inside, I found a large device that appears to be a very old phonograph of some kind. The diary fragments and some assorted shells, dried seaweed and sand. I will try to play back what is on this device now. The celebrated fictional mega-organ of Steam Lord Cornelius is a sample instrument for contact. It is a massive sounding multi-layered beast and has to be heard to be believed. Available now at 